Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari ST A to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari ST games, some which I grew up with and some which are new to me. Today is one of the latter. Today we're taking a look at John Lowe's Ultimate Darts, which was a 1989 release from Gremlin Graphics. It was developed by David Bowler and ported from other platforms by Wise Owl Software, and it features music by Ben Daglish, as did a lot of other Gremlin Graphics pieces of software. John Lowe's darts career apparently ran between 1978 and 2005, so he would have been a well-known name in the field at the time. And in fact, looking into it, it seems he is regarded as one of the three people to have dominated the field of darts in the mid-80s, alongside Eric Bristow and Jockey Wilson. He won the World Championship title in three different decades, and he threw the first ever televised nine-dart finish, which is the darts equivalent of a 147 break in snooker, if that means anything to any of you. I'm not sure it means anything to me, but uh, I'm sure someone will understand. So the ST game itself had a fairly tepid reception on its original release, but as a fairly niche interest simulation, it was never going to be a big hitter. But uh, it was acknowledged that it was a good dart sim, so I'm intrigued to take a look. I'm not super big on darts or anything like that but i do enjoy occasionally throwing the odd dart at the pub or whatever so let's give it a go let's go play john lowe's ultimate darts okay here we are with john lowe's ultimate darts for atari st conversion by wise owl and i've got to confess we've got this is not the kind of music i was expecting from this i was expecting something more along the lines of sort of honky tonk piano and that sort of thing um Okay, so it wants us to insert disc B, then press a key, so I'll be right back. Okay, and here we are with disc B. So I don't really know anything about this game, I've not played many darts games. Um, but as far as they go, I don't know, this sounded alright, so... What does all this mean? Uh, so we've got... Arcade mode or real mode. Right, so the arcade mode or real mode in this is... Arcade mode allows you to play on the computer as a simulated darts game. Um, but if you play real mode, you use it basically as an electronic scoreboard. So you can, you can just hook up your SD next to your own dartboard and just use the game to keep track of your own scores. Which is quite a nice touch, I think. Uh, level one, one player, round the board, two player board, exhibitions, competitions, soccer darts or cricket darts. Alright, let's fight an exhibition. Player one, give your name. Pete. Who do we play against? I don't know who any of these people are. The computer. <laughs> okay, we're playing against the computer, I guess. Uh, and we'll play 301. And so this should just be standard darts rules. Uh, so, score 301, finish on a double. Right, how do we play... And we have the wiggly hand approach here. So I'm not I'm not touching the mouse right now, and you see it's jiggling around all over the place. Uh, so presumably we just pop it where we want it to go, and then, oops. Oh, and if you take too long, it throws it for you, and that's mean. Player two to throw. Good job, computer. Nice. Ooh, a little bit low. Okay. It's nice that you don't have to worry about power and stuff like that. It's just purely about accuracy. So, stunk. And stunk. And double 20 to finish. Oh, just missed. Player two to throw. So it either, it either scrolls automatically for you, or you can scroll it yourself, I guess. Player one to throw. So we need, oh yeah, yeah, it just scrolls with, with the mouse. So we need a double 10. 
and uh, a double five. <laughs> Where's five? There it is. Stunk. Missed. And a double two and a half. Good. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> okay, so that's the basics of how it works anyway. Uh, what does this do? Sorry, two play game only. Press escape to exit. Okay. Alright, let's have another go at that. Okay, let's play against Eric Bristow. But I have a game of 501 this time. Eric Bristow to throw. Understandable. All right, watch this. I'm sure you'll agree. Spectacular. Oh, you're off. You're off your form, Bristow. All right. And stunk, stunk, stunk. I got one in the triple. He's slaughtering me. <laughs> stunk, stunk, stunk. Oh, that was pretty nice. He's still slaughtering me, though. Of course. Well done, player two. Alright, let's see what prize event does. Player one, give me your name. We got the Novice Trials, Pub Trophy, Town Trophy, County Cup, and World Championship. I think we'll go for the Novice Trial, shall we? Uh, let's go for. We'll go for 501 again. So Pete versus Stephen Donald. Okay, so it just simulates those games. You don't have to sit and watch them. Dick Julikit versus William Poynton. Dick Julikit wins. Next game, Pete versus Stephen Donald. Come on then, Stephen Donald. Show me what you're made of. Apparently, you're made of uh, good darts playing potential. Nice use of sample sound in this. Yeah, it's 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 well presented. I mean, it's. Dance is a simple game, so there's only so much you can do with it, really. But what they have done is solid. And it looks good, it's presented clearly, the sounds are good. And it plays fine, you know, it starts. I think I still prefer Shenmue darts. That is my favourite darts game in existence. Um... Oh. Leg one by player two. Press a key. Okay, so it's not it's not just a single a single game. Or oh, leg, I guess I called in darts. Oh dear, that was terrible. <laughs> you suck. You don't really suck because you're absolutely flattening me, but you know, whoops. Triple one. Right, I got this. Watch this. Watch this. 
Watch this. <laughs> this is just like me playing real darts. All right, come on. What? Lies. Damn lies. No, that's not how you do it, is it? Is it now? I got this. I can still win. Maybe I can't. They again set one by player two. Okay. I don't know how many sets you play in a game of darts. Best of three, presumably. I kind of wish it gave the names rather than just saying player one and player two. That would have that would have made it feel a bit more sort of competitive, like you're actually playing against someone else. This is a little bit dry otherwise, you should say Pete to throw, or Stephen Donaldson to throw, or whatever his name was. Because if it showed his name when he was throwing, I might be able to remember what his name actually is. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'll freely admit, I'm struggling a bit. Oh, that helped. That certainly helped. Double 15. Missed. Ah, oh, you got it. Do not like you. Do not like. So you just need to show the name there. <laughs> oh well right watch this sixty a formidable score I'm sure you'll agree Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Oops. No. <laughs> I appreciate how they made the dartboard kind of shitty. <laughs> sort of like scratches and chunks out of it and all sorts. Well, death to me. Go on, ugly dirt, and I'm rooting for you. James Pond. All players have been knocked out. Good. Well, I'm glad we had this talk. Okay, let's try a game of round the board. Uh, just normal is fine.
next up is O1. All right, should be easy enough. There we go. And then two. And then three. Oh, did you not count it? Because I got a double. Well, that's not on, is it? Uh, four. Okay. Five, six, or seven. There, seven. Miss. No, you're not going to miss ever, are you? <laughs> this feels like a mode that is probably a mistake to play against the computer. Uh, where am I going? Eight? It was eight. Eight! That just about counted. <laughs> it was fortunate. Nine! Ten! Eleven, twelve, uh, where's thirteen? There, thirteen. All right, fourteen. Oh, missed. Oh, no. This is a disaster. Okay, I'm on it. 16. I know where that is. It's there, obviously. 17 is obviously here. 18 is definitely here. You're going to win, aren't you? I hate you. Miss. Oof. Oof. Has he won? You have to hit a bull as well. Hello? Anyone? Okay, I guess he won. Fair enough. Alright, let's have a quick look at football darts. So if I remember rightly in this one, you play a round and whoever gets the highest score moves up the pitch or something like that. I think that's how it works. So kick off. All right, so player two has 95 points. I 
I have 60 points. So he's going to move, yeah, up the pitch. And presumably 15 minutes means there's 15 turns. Yeah, if you look in the corner, it says time 13 now. Okay. So he's got 100. I got 60. So he's going to... Yeah, there we go. I sense there's going to be a lot of back and forth in this. 60 for you. Oh, no. It's still 120. That'll do. No reward for sort of how far ahead of your opponent you are in terms of points. It's, it's just purely whoever gets the higher score moves further up the field. 180! Eighty. Pathetic. You're less than nothing. One hundred. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I'm getting close. Miss it. Nothing happens. Hey, you suck. United attack. Oh, he's going to get... Yeah, I knew it. I knew he was going to get 180 there. Just as I was getting close to his... No! No, no, no. Unacceptable. <sighs> it was all going so well for a little while. You're fine, now you mess up. Of course. It's almost like you have a little routine built in to make you mess up every so often. <laughs> Watch him get it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. One hundred and eighty. Right now he's going to get 180 and flatten me. Oh no, no. Hmm. That's still quite a high score. All right, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. That's uh, not very good. <laughs> Two minutes left in the first half. No, 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 no. One minute left. Ha oh, half time, even. Okay. Kick off. Come on. Sigh. Gonna be a low scoring game here, I feel. And hoop, 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 and hoop. rubbish. Rubbish. Stop that. Just stop it.
Yeah, that's more like it. More rounds like that, please. Oh, bollocks. Rubbish. Still, just need some solid defense to take him to a nil-nil draw. That's not going to do the job, is it? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. That will they. Yeah, get out of my area. Good, good. I'm actually having quite an enjoyable time in this game. <laughs> I can't believe it's still won that round. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I can see this being a proper hoot with a friend. Especially if you're both into sort of pub games and football and that sort of thing. I'm not normally into like stuff like soccer, but obviously this this doesn't really resemble soccer. It's just it's just a mechanism through which you can figure out who's scoring what. But it's an interesting sort of tug of war scenario that adds a fun little twist to the usual darts formula. 140 three minutes to go no one is going to score that's fine i'm good with that i am fine with playing for a draw <laughs> Full time. Well, don't you think that was all worth it? <laughs> Just like a real game of football that unfolds like that. You get to the end of those 90 minutes and you think, have we all just wasted our time massively? I think we might have done. But anyway, you done? We done. Okay, so last thing to try, I think, is cricket darts, whatever that is. I don't actually know how this works, but I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll figure it out. Fifteen overs. batting right i'm gonna go ahead and assume that we want as high a score as possible as usual so and and so presumably if he beats that then then i don't get any runs i don't know 100 Don't really understand what's going on here
But I guess we're bowling now. So he was always going for the middle for some reason. Should we? Should should we? Oops. Hundred and twenty-one. Right, so, so if he beats the bowler, then he gets that number of runs? Yeah, I don't quite get what's going on here. And hoo, and hoo, and hoo. Okay, so I've got three people out, so I guess you have to hit the bullseye to get him out. And outer bull is one out, and inner bull is two. Maybe? Yeah, that seems to be how it's working. I get absolutely reamed, but that's because I didn't understand the rules. So, you know, in my defense. <laughs> get in the. Hit the thing. Alright, just need to get three more of them out. And... Ooh, missed. Ooh. Ah. Oh, I got one. One of them counted. And we're done. Right, okay, I get how that works now. So, batting, you just try to score as many points as possible. Bowling, you have to hit the bullseye. With inner bull giving you two people out and outer bull giving you one person out. And um, the batting player's turn is over after however many overs you set or after you get ten people out from the look of things. Okay, yeah, that's pretty fun. That's fun. That's that, that's a decent package on the whole. It's it's got a nice variation of different games to play. Obviously, it's not going to appeal to absolutely everyone. But the nice thing about games like this is that it's got a nice sort of casual appeal to it, so that most people who understand the concept of darts will be able to play this computer game. So you could sit down with someone who maybe isn't a big video gamer, but who enjoys darts and who enjoys a bit of friendly competition and that sort of thing, and you could play this game with them which is nice um so that sort of gameplay has always very much been associated a lot more recently with things like the wii generation and so on but you can see from stuff like this that there's always been this sort of casual marketplace there for um people to enjoy and for people to enjoy games together and i think this is actually a pretty good example of a game that people of different levels of ability and experience with video games could quite easily enjoy together so yeah, that's actually quite a bit better than I was expecting. But obviously, obviously it's still a darts game. So if you don't give a toss about darts, then there's not going to be a ton to appeal there. But if you just want something that's simple and competitive and quite fun and easy to understand to play with someone else, not a terrible choice. Not a terrible choice at all. Anyway, let's leave it there for now. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.